Hello everyone! So, I haven't done a Primark haul this month yet, so it's obviously about time that I did one. I don't think many months go by where I don't. Um, I recently purchased a few items in there, as usual, and I thought I'd share them with you. So, here we go! So first of all I want to show you a dress, I just got it in a little shop near me, it's not actually from Primark but I've never got to show you it otherwise because it's just one random purchase. Um, and it's this dress, I just thought I would show you because it's a kind of dress I'm wearing a lot at the moment. It's by the brand Vera and Lucy which I don't know if you can get everywhere but that's the label in it anyway. And it's a shift style dress. Um, I'm actually wearing one right now, the dress I've got on is very similar um, and I just love them, they're very comfortable, easy to wear um, they look nice on you if you have a bump or if you don't so that's good and they're just uh, just above knee length and they're just lovely for the summer this costs £19.99 but I just kind of wanted to, to show it to you it's the kind of dress you can probably pick up really easily online or um, you know, in just those little shops that you have near you that no one else has near them because it's not a chain of shops. Oh, I'm just mumbling now. So let's get on to the Primark stuff. So you may be able to tell that I am loving the white, black and bright fuchsia yellowy green colour by the dress I'm wearing and this dress. This is basically a long, very long, maxi dress and it's just a fitted one. Um, and the top of it looks like this and it's got sort of I guess a palm tree um, jungly print on it and I just really liked it. It also comes with a tie around the waist but that's in the bag somewhere because I took it off when I tried it on. And these kind of things also fit me quite well at the moment like being pregnant and stuff, they're stretchy, um, they probably look nicer on you if you're not pregnant I guess but it, it is really no uh, really lovely. <laughs> really lovely dress and it was only £10 so I'm really pleased with that and obviously it's maxi length so it comes right down to your ankles. I also got this which I absolutely fell in love with so I'm just going to hold it back a little bit so hopefully you can see and hold it up. It's a kimono and it's so pretty. It's got this floral print as you can see and it's just got like this beigey coloured background and the, the strange thing about it is it's made out of a sort of almost like a cardigan material, it's very very soft, it, it feels like such good quality but it kind of feels a bit, almost a bit heavy for the summer if you're attending a festival but again it would be really nice to wear in the evening when it gets cold because it's really really cosy um, I would, yeah, I would kind of describe it as a cosy kimono, if that makes any sense, because it's not made out of that kind of silky material. Um, anyway, it was £14, and I just thought it's just a really nice kind of throwover thing, which doesn't look like you're wearing a wintry cardigan in the summer, because I hate that. But yeah, this is so pretty, so I got that. I also picked up this pair of flip-flops. They're very basic, but I liked them because they're a nude colour, they have a little bow on them, they're very simple. I can literally wear these with anything, they're going to be comfortable, um, and I just thought they were cute. That's basically all it was. They were £2.50, and you can also get them in black, and I've seen them in coral as well. They're probably, they probably come in other colours, but I just thought I would go for the nude pair, and I really like them. Now sticking with nude, I also got this bag. I've been looking for um, a hospital bag for when I have the baby for ages. I did get that one from Kath Kidson and I'm probably going to put the baby stuff in that one. This is really big, it doesn't look that big on the camera actually but it's huge. And I'm going to do a full what's in my uh, hospital bag, what's in my baby bag a little bit nearer the time once it's all ready. But I think this is probably the bag I'm going to use. So it's got these pockets on the front, they're really big and they just kind of grip it into these hooks, I guess they're called. It has a long handle, a long strap and then it has the two handles. I can't even speak properly at the moment but it's really really pretty, it's got lots of room in it and I'll show you it in more detail in that video, I don't want to like just go on about it now and then show you it in that video. I don't know where the tag's gone, I think I took it off but I think it was like £12 or something. It was really really reasonable and I believe they have them in black as well if you're looking for a hospital bag or even like a holiday weekend 
type of bag. This is a really good size for that. It's way too big for a handbag, unless you carry a lot of stuff with you. Next, I got this. Um, more organisation slash storagey toiletry bags. I kind of have a bit of an obsession with these. And I bought some last time I went to Primark. Um, not these ones exactly, but like makeup kind of bags. So I probably don't need these, but it was the colours of them that kind of made me buy them um so you get as you can see three different see-through plastic um toiletry bags a large one with blue piping medium with pink piping and small with yellow piping and i thought this would be really handy for my hospital bag um can store toiletries can store babies nappies i don't know exactly how i'm going to do everything yet and i don't want to give too much away like i said because of that video but I'm sure these will come in handy for something and they cost £5 for the pack of three. I do have quite a few more potential hospital bag type things in this haul so I apologise for that but hopefully you can use them in your everyday life if you're not pregnant. Like these for example, you need a pair of slippers so I decided I'd get a new pair and I really love these. I think they look a lot more expensive than they are. They're kind of very much UGG-esque um, and they were only four pounds and I just thought they were nice they have grippy soles I needed a new pair of slippers anyway they're a bit winter I guess but I really really like them and they come in all different colors so I picked up those you can't really go wrong for four pounds I also bought a pack of cozy socks um, because I'm told that in labor your feet can get very cold and they do advise you to pack cozy socks um, so Obviously, having a boy, so I went for um, two blue pairs, stripy blue and blue flowers, um, and they're just going to hopefully be quite comfortable. I don't actually know how attractive I look in my socks slippers combo, um, but I don't think I'll really care that much. And these were £2. Um, I also got some night dresses, which I'm just going to quickly show you, and if I decide to take these to hospital, which I probably will, um, I'll show you in more detail in that video. They're not the most attractive of things, but there's this one, which is blue stripes, and it's just a night shirt, and it was uh, £4.50. And um, also this one, which is white with blue hearts, and that was £4.50, so... Yeah, just a quick glimpse and I'll show you those if you're interested in more maternity things. I also got this, which is a bit of a random purchase, but the rest of the stuff in this haul is. Um, it's just basically a little purse and phone holder combo. You can put your cards in here and then like, I guess you're like driving license in this bit. Then there's like little um, elastic, oh that was loud. Little elasticated bits to hold your phone and it's kind of the perfect depth for an iPhone so you can store everything in here. There's a little um, note bit at the back. You can put your phone in there and then it's got like this little, uh, little strap, wrist strap. So you can just kind of take this with you if you aren't taking your full bag. Maybe if you're just going to the shops quickly or jumping out of the car or something. This is like in a sort of ostrichy, fake ostrich print. Um, and it was £4 and they do them in loads of different prints so that was... ow! I picked up this which is for my hospital bag but obviously I think every girl needs one of these in their bag. I've been looking for one for ages because I lost mine a long time ago. It's just a little um, mirror brush combo. I do have one which was in my what's in my bag but I lost that one as well. Um, so this one I don't know how much it is I think they're like a pound or two pounds or something really handy to have in any girl's bag and finally i got a pack of hair bands one pound obviously going into hospital you need like ten thousand hair bands right and like i don't have these already but for some reason i decided to pick up another pack of them um i also got these these aren't for hospital or anything like that but they're scrunchies whoever thought we would be wearing scrunchies again from like 90s kids back at school um but these ones are really cute i, I just liked the patterns on them so i decided to get these two packs florals and pinks and hearts and things and they were just cute
So this was a little bit of a random Primark haul, so I do apologise for that. But I'm really pleased with everything I got. And leave me comments in the box below if you would like to see what's in my baby bag slash what's in my hospital bag, if that's at all of interest to you. Let me know. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. There'll be a box somewhere that says subscribe, which means you're not subscribed already. So yeah, I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching this video everyone, speak to you later, bye!